Hello, YouTube. So, what's up, dudes? Um, check it out. Basically, I hadn't made an update lately, or you know, like in a couple days, because it's fucking snowed here in El Paso. We usually don't get snow, but it's been, you know, it was really bad. I mean, we get all covered with fucking snow, and kind of pissed me off because I went to work on the Pontiac, but I hadn't been able to because, you know, of the snow. So, the breather's painted. I got that cone thing on top. Might still use the other, um, the intake from that 280C, but I might not. You know, it was really big, and it might interfere with my lighting. I don't know. So, I'm still debating about that. What I'm doing right now is this basically uh, last time I saw this Jeep with some covers on his lights with you know like little diamond plate uh, thing like this one you know like little diamond shit and I talked to him and he said it cost him he, well, he was kind of bragging about it and he's like oh they cost me 50 bucks and this and that and I was like well I didn't say anything you know cause what, what for but I kind of just thought to myself that's pretty stupid why go and spend 50 bucks on something you can make yourself easily just go and spend like 20 bucks in the hardware store do some work you know a little bit of elbow grease and boom you've got some covers for yourself that's what I'm doing right now I had picked it up in the desert you know because when I go out wheeling and I see metal in the desert or something that's useful and it's just there being trash you know not that I really care about the environment but it helps and it helps me, you know, it helps my pocket if I sell it for scrap, you know, if I gather. Obviously, that's worth nothing because it's like 0.2 cents per pound. But, you know, if gather enough and then just go sell it, get like 30 bucks for gas, you know, and keep on wheeling. You know, it's pretty good. So, I made this template here. You can see. And I'm going to cut it out of this little material here. I'm just going to bolt it on there with the regular bolts. See if it holds up. And bam, you know, I've got some protection for my lights, and it looks pretty cool. Also, what I'm going to work on, my uncle, he works, um, well, he's not really my uncle, he's just my mom's best friend's husband. Check those tanks out. They're actually for some sort of acid that he uses at work. I actually put those letters on it that say fuel. Right now, I did a stencil, and I sprayed them on there. And they are, um... I guess because he works across the border, you know, he works in Mexico. And this is 20, 20 liters. I mean, I don't know how that transferred to gallons, but these shits are bad, you know. And I'm going to make a bracket to hold them where they are right now. You know, little fuel tanks. You never have enough fuel. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'll work on this. So here I got it. So that's how it's gonna look now. Pretty nice. And I finished up this sucker here. Just ran, had a bunch of chain laying around. Ran a chain around this little lock here. And chain going like that. Ooh, the rags right here, look. And I'm gonna move anywhere. It's all good. I doubt somebody's gonna come and steal it, but yeah. We'll see. So there it is. Now I have a good, nice little fuel tank there. So, check this out. This is a Honda. A hood from a Honda. There it is, it's a piece of shit, I know. So I'm gonna use that to make my trunk floor here. You know, I'm gonna cut out a template from this cardboard that I use. Kinda don't want to, because I use it to go into the cars or whatever, you know. And then I'm gonna cut it out of this sheet metal here. And again, you know, I know for a fact, someone out there is going to give me shit of how I'm putting some Honda fucking sheet metal onto my old pony. But, again, I don't give a fucking shit. I don't give a rat's fucking ass. I don't fuck you. And then probably all the people out there are going to talk shit. 
or most of them don't even have a car aren't even making a custom vehicle they don't even know how to fucking use a salsa maybe even I'm just playing no but you know I hate people like that I hate when I go look at people's you know YouTube videos and shit or they're making something it might look like the stupidest shit ever but it's theirs you know they're doing their own you know why do people have to go out there and talk shit about their other people's things or about the way they're doing it or this and that you know do it like you can you know and so I'm done making the carver template here huh. That's what how it's gonna be. It looks like I'm just barely gonna have enough sheet metal to do it. So I guess I'm estimate I'm think I'm using about three hoods for the whole floors. One for the rear. One for the front. So I'm kind of done cutting out the shape here. Let me show you. However, I was just surprised because of because of this bullshit. Look, I thought this subframe of the hood was tack welded. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have a hard time putting it apart. You know. Kind of stupid it's held by tar yeah that's right this car the hood and the subframe are held together by fucking tar that's right I'm not lying check it out tar some sort of fucking tar or something like that that's just I don't know I have I have no words for that it's fucking that's why I stick to old metal like my truck now this that Dodge is not mine <laughs> my Jeep other Jeep you know fuck that so here it is people all fit in here I still gotta bang it in that corner right there just so I can take the shape just give it a full few fucking hits there here and there with a hammer and then we'll weld it 